We got Blue Beetle, Supergirl, Superman, DC News right now. Polly back here on the Latino Slant. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that alert. It would help. You get the notices like this one. Um, we've been covering Blue Beetle since the announcement of who the director was well over a year ago. We even uh, willed it into existence that Sholo Maridueña from Cobra Kai should play the role. And you know he is. Filming has been done. And um, there is some really interesting developments. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to talk about a couple of de developments. We're talking about the, the, uh, the screening that they had the show time, the show length, some potential guest appearances or mentions. Then I want to finish this video with Sholo himself talking about a certain element, a certain important aspect of this movie that he recently did in an interview. And we have like 30 seconds and I will link that full interview in the video description. But I want to let you know, first of all, there was a cut a two hours and 45 minute cut uh screened for the first time to uh you know you know a marketing group or you know a a uh, private screening for 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 the purposes of you know getting the that first you know uh response and from what i've read it is a positive response also too i've read that it is a little too long that they hopefully want to get that runtime down to about two hours. And I think that sounds great, especially with the first time uh, hero such as uh, Blue Beetle. He's not being introduced in like a, a bigger film uh, or uh, like a bigger superhero that's well known. It's his film. So I think that's a great move. Now, you have uh, the reaction to that screening. You have the length uh, and, and uh, where, they're, where they want to shoot for. From that and from um, other speculative rumors, okay? I'm not saying this is gold. Superman and Supergirl do not, do not make an appearance in the film Blue Beetle. However, they are referred to. So, if they are referred to, then we can talk about that. If they're referred to, that means it's all in this same universe. That means timeline, this probably happens after the Flash movie. That means... Um, also, too, Blue Beetle could appear in these in some other future films. But I think it's interesting that they are referred to but not seen. It further gives depth to Jaime Reyes and his world in El Paso and the bigger world out there connected to Superman and Supergirl. Um, and, and, and as of today, what we know, Sasha Calle is Supergirl and hopefully... Henry Cavill is going to be our Superman. So there you have it. That is a, a another little news item. It is half based on that screening and half based on uh, rumor. So we're just going to say it's speculation that they were referred to in the movie. But um, it makes sense. It makes sense. You're building this world out. You're connecting our hero to these other heroes. I love it. Another thing that I love about this iteration of blue beetle is the creative team i've been watching the creative team since they were announced it's a mexican writer and a puerto rican director and their importance on the family of jaime reyes this mexican household in el paso and how tight they are and you could see the passion and excitement in every time um these creators have been interviewed especially in the dc fandom of uh, 2021, which I thought was probably the only um, thing I positive thing I took away. It also was the Batgirl interview, but we all, we know how, we know how that ended up. So, what I want to do now is I want to share a video clip 
of Sholo himself on the big thing. That's what this... Um, that's what this... Excuse me, I'm trying to find my window. <laughs> there he is. That's what this YouTube channel is called. It's called The Big Thing. This is part of a bigger interview. This is only about 20, 30 seconds. I think it's really important what Sholo says, and I want to break it down with you afterwards. You right. have so long to learn about these people and then go into a movie where you have two weeks to be like, hey, you guys are meeting each other. You guys are a family. Here you go. But, oh, man, it felt great. And and that's another story. But But there's such a strong sense of family in the comics, and that's something that I think – all people can relate to. Yes, it it is specific to the Latino experience because these characters are Latino and yada, yada, yada. Right. But there's so many things that you read on the page that you're like, oh, my family's like this. And there you have it. Sholo talking about the connective tissue of the close, tight-knit family that's in the comics of Jaime Reyes and how it is, how it is translated into the film. And he's really excited about that. Of course, I myself loved what he said. He said, yeah, it's Latino specific, but this family and what they're going through is universal. And he's excited about that. That makes me super, super jacked for this film. I'm like, why is it, you know, it's, we're waiting till next August of 2023. That's a little long, guys. Um, but however... This gives me hope. Uh, continue to really uh, keep that fire lit for Sholo, his career, and this movie of Blue Beetle. We have been covering for, you know, for, like I said, for well over uh, almost two years now. But, you know, go ahead and check out that playlist. I will have that in the video description as well. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of Sholo's work uh, from Cobra Kai? What do you guys think of this iteration of Jaime Reyes and the Blue Beetle? All right, mi gente, that's all the time I have right now. Make sure you comment, and I'd love to hear from you. I comment pretty much. I reply back to most, if not all, of your comments. Take care, everybody, wherever you're at. Keep that slant fuerte. Gracias.